Hey guys, it is Vita Day 28, and it's revelatory moments, something that changed how I see the world. Well, let's just address the biggest one. Um, the first time I met Jesus changed my life, and people are here. Second, I mean, there's been a lot of them in my life, but I've been having a lot of revelation in the past couple of days because I'm moving out of state to a state I've never lived before into a city that I don't know anybody like literally I only know my employer and the one person I met that showed us where the rental places were so um, it's a huge deal I don't know this is all new and I'm just realizing all of the things that I have here and all of my friends and family and the things that I'm gonna miss so much but I mean I'm just having all these thoughts but today I thought I would show you what I am going through because I have zero boxes packed um, I'm actually in the process of selling because we're going from um, 1900 square feet to 948 for the next year which is fine for us it's not a big deal we only have us three we can do it it's just a lot of stuff to get rid of and go through so I haven't been able to fold my laundry in like three days because I've been insanely busy I haven't even taken a shower this morning so you're getting the beautiful side of me and let me just point out that this is very important pumpkin spice latte this morning not from Starbucks because I prefer to buy from other coffee places so let me just take you on a little tour of what I've been going through and and realizing just all the things this is my living room currently. Clothes that we're keeping and I need to fold. Crap I'm going through. Clothes I'm selling. Other things I'm selling. Just going through everything. Because that's what you do when you're moving. So, this is my hall. More laundry. Bedroom. It's got boxes and my bed's not made because what's the point? And living room is crazy with paper got rid of a bookshelf that's normally there books I'm keeping because you know I'm moving towards e-reader I have groceries on the table oh that stuff couches crafts from Michaela that we did on the couch because the table is full going back down the hall this is my daughter's room which is never ever clean no matter how many times we've done it and look I'm so sad I did all this painting and artwork myself and we're gonna have to leave it and repaint it this is Catherine's old changing table, if you wanted to know, it's a dresser. No, that plate did not have anything on it. She's not allowed to eat in her room. But anyway, so then let's go into the lovely office and show you all my paperwork I'm sorting through. All the things I have to do. It is insane. So now you know just a little bit of what I'm going through. And I'm doing this mostly by myself because my husband is still at work. And I have to work on Saturday. My very last princess party I'll be doing is Elsa. And then we're going away for the weekend. Well, just sat Sunday and Monday to visit my husband's grandparents for the last time in a while. Who knows the next time we'll see them. So we got to go visit them. And then I only have until Thursday to have everything ready and packed up. This is quite overwhelming and I am realizing that more and more each day. I love your faces and I will see you tomorrow.